take your waist measurement and the side skirt length. Now add 4 cm seam allowance onto your waist measurement. This is for the zipper placement. Then you're going to divide that number by 6,28. The outcome is your waist radius. Okay, mark down the zero point of the radius. Next, measure down the radius and place a mark. From the radius mark, measure down the skirt length. Do the same on the other side. <laughs> Now use a compass to draw a quarter circle. This is your waistline. If you don't have a compass, use a ruler. After that, minus one centimeter from the radius and draw a new quarter circle. This is the seam allowance. Line up the ruler on the waistline and mark down the skirt length, including the seam allowance. Connect the marks. I forgot to include the seam allowance, so I have to do the same thing all over again. For a rectangle aka waistband, the waistband is the measurement of your waist including the zipper seam allowance. I did half of the measurement because I'm going to place the waistband on full. The width is up to you but it should be multiplied by 2 plus seam allowance. I'm going to use a waistband interfacing, so I'm using the width of the interfacing. I added seam allowance, but I forgot that I already included the seam allowance. Before you cut your pattern on fabric, double check if your waistline has a correct measurement. Multiply that by 4. So the fabric is already in half, then you're going to fold it in half again. Place the pattern on top and cut it out. Cut one side of the circle. This is now the center back seam. Switch the center back seam and hemline. The interfacing has two sides. The fusible side is the shiny side of the interfacing. Lay the fusible side on the wrong side of the waistband. Iron the interfacing on the waistband without steam. And don't go on your phone when you're doing this. This is actually the last step but I hate this step so much that I decided to do this first. Fold the edge and sew along. You can also double fold the hemline if you don't have a serger. Sew the waistband onto the waistline. Now attach the zipper onto the center back. Place the top of the zipper in the center of the waistband. Sew along the zipper with a blind zipper foot. of the excess zipper I went a little overboard as you can see so I removed the stitches with the seam ripper and trimmed off the leftover of the zipper now fold the waistband in half and fold the seam inwards and sew along the zipper with the zipper foot Turn the waistband
spin the inside out. Fold the raw edge inwards, you can press it down if you want to. Make sure you fold the face bend slightly over the stitch line, pin the waistband in place. Stitch in the ditch. Lastly, close the center back. that you like this video if you tried any of my diys and you want to share it with me you can tag me on instagram and i will see you in my next video bye bye